Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to attempt to solve these horrid looking equations. OK, let's begin with z or z to the power of 3 equals 49 to the power of 5. And I'm going to write the square root as to the power of a half. Now, in accordance with this rule that allows us to swap the powers, I'm going to rewrite this as 49 to the power of a half, all raised to the power of 5. This, of course, is still z to the 3. And now 49 to the half is a square root of 49, which is 7. So this is 7 to the power of 5, still z to the 3. And if we now raise both sides to the power of one third, in other words, we're taking the cube root of both sides, we get this. And again, using this rule, we can rewrite this as the powers multiplied together. So we get z to the 3 multiplied by one third. And on the right hand side, we get 7 to the power of 5 multiplied by one third. 3 times one third is 1. So this is just z. And this equals 7 to the power of 5 over 3. And if we now substitute this into this equation, we get that x equals the log base 7 of 7 to the 5 over 3. That's 2 thirds. Now, what power do we need to raise 7 to to get 7 to the power of 5 over 3? Well, the answer is sort of in the question, because the answer is 5 over 3. So x equals 5 over 3 less 2 thirds, which equals 1. So that all worked out really nicely. Now for the last part, let's find y. y to the third equals x to the minus 5. x equals 1. Therefore, y to the 3 equals 1 to the negative 5. Now 1 raised to the power of 5 is just 1. And the negative sign means we invert that. And inverting 1 just gives us 1. So y to the 3 equals 1. And taking the cube root of both sides means that y also equals 1. And they are our answers. x equals 1 and y equals 1. So something that looked really horrid at the beginning turned out to be not too bad. In fact, if you're on the ball with your logs and your powers, you could probably have solved this from the thumbnail. And if you did, please let me know in the comments below. OK, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.